What is wrong with those people who believe in paradise? I mean, is the eternity not boring? Being stuck in a place forever, doing the same things over and over again, what would the life in paradise not turn into hell? Actually, no, it is the exact opposite. Let's do some thinking together. Now, when is something boring to us? If we repeat something over and over again, we all get bored sometimes. Because we are sick of doing the same stuff. The reason for that is simple. The world we live in is temporary. So are the possibilities. Everything is limited. Let us think about the following example. Imagine, imagine that you are rich. What would you do with all your money? Let's say you would like to travel the world, exactly right? When you travel the world for the first time, everything you see and experience is exciting. You have fun and enjoy yourself, then you decide to travel the world again for the second time. You do the same things which you did in your first journey. Now that you know everything and since you have experienced everything before, you start to get bored. This is why you decide to visit other places in your third journey. And you do other things. More than that, you travel for a third and fifth time. In the end, you went to all places that are possible and exploited all possibilities. Because this world and everything in it is limited and temporary. This is why you start to get bored again. So, here we have our world, a finite place with limited possibilities. But the eternity which we mentioned in the beginning is different. Why, you ask? Simple. It is the complete opposite. It's an eternal place with eternal possibilities, unlike the earth. How could it be boring? Let me explain why one would claim that. Imagine you have a scale which can weigh 100 kilograms. If you want to weigh something that is under or exactly 100 kilograms, it ain't a problem, right? But what happens when you put something on it which is 200 kilograms? Exactly, the scale would only show 100 kilograms because that is its limit. The same thing is the case with our imaginations and our thoughts. We cannot imagine eternity. We cannot imagine having eternal possibilities in paradise. We never get bored. Because our thoughts are limited, you see that our imagination is restricted. That's the reason why we think that eternity could be boring. We are not able to imagine eternity. More than that, everyone has wishes and different imaginations, right? Wishes which cannot come through in this world. Where do these wishes come from in the first place? The wish to fly. Why do we have these wishes? To breathe underwater. To teleport ourselves to different places. To break our own limits. Why do we have these wishes inside of us? Even though they speak against the scientific rules even though they are impossible to fulfill according to science. Where does this urge to boundlessness come from? Try to think about it. Ask yourself, why do we have such a programming in us? Let me give you an example. Some of us like to have an aquarium at home. That sounds pretty normal, right? We have different fishes and maybe even little crabs in it. What do we do with them? Yes, we look after the living beings inside the aquarium. We give them something to eat. We watch over them. We make sure that the water is clean and so on. But why do we even do it? Why do we feel the need to have an aquarium at home and watch after some fishes? Let me tell you. We take this idea from the nature. This is one creator God who takes care of his whole creation. We have this urge to take care of fishes, for example, because we prove his existence with our behavior. He created us with this programming, exactly like this. 
we are programmed to have wishes which are impossible to be fulfilled on the earth. So one can say that having needs and wishes are a proof of God himself. And having wishes which cannot be fulfilled are a proof of a hereafter. A place where can we break our chains and be free. Where we can do everything we ever wished and imagined. Everything has a reason, nothing in this world or in us existing without a reason and a wisdom. Look at the fantasy movies in the cinemas. There are mermaids who live in underwater. There are heroes with special powers, magicians and witches. Let me give you another beautiful example. Look at the children or remember your own childhood. Isn't it interesting to see how children imagine crazy things? I'm a waterman, I can walk above water and I can talk to animals. Funny, huh? Even our fantasy isn't always from this world. Everyone has wishes which cannot be fulfilled in this world. Let me give you another example for the proof of the hereafter. Love. Interesting. Love is a proof of the hereafter. Why you ask? Does your love have a limit? Did you ever say, I love so many things, my limit has been reached? No, because there is no limit to your love. Because the Almighty gave you the ability to love endlessly. You can love your phone, different songs, your clothes, people. One day you try a new frappuccino and say, yeah, I like this one. God is endless. God has no beginning nor an ending. God is the creator of the space and the time. So is your love and your wishes to live? People want to live. They cannot accept that. They want to stay young or find a way to live eternally. That is because there is a place where it is possible to do so. It is the hereafter. It is the paradise.